All right, class, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at section 4.2 and the traveling salesperson problem. So here we're dealing with Hamilton paths, and what this is saying is the path that passes through all the vertices of graph exactly once is called a Hamilton path, uh, very similar to the last lesson where you're trying to trace a picture, a diagram. So if a Hamilton path begins and ends at the same vertex, then it's called a Hamilton circuit. If the graph has a Hamilton circuit, we will say it is a Hamiltonian. So this picture, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, E, in red is a Hamilton path. So if I follow this, I go down A to B, B to C, C to F, F to D, D to G, and then up to E, you're completing a circuit through all of the uh, points, and that's a path. And uh, in, in, if you go back to A, oops, if you go back to A, it would be called a circuit, which I believe no, this one's talking about B. So in this second picture, um, there is no way that I can go here without crossing through a point twice. Okay, so I go D to C to B to A. I have to cross through C again to get down to E. So there's no Hamiltonian path or circuit. Okay, so a complete graph is one in which every pair of vertices is joined by an edge. A complete graph with n vertices is denoted by kn. You have a question about that. So notice this would not be a complete graph over here because these aren't connected. But these are shapes that are all complete. All vertices are connected to each other. Okay. So this is a k3. Notice there's one, two, three lines. This is a k4, which means there's four vertices, and there are one, two, three, four, Sorry, I didn't count the right. One, two, three, four, five, six different lines. And here's a K5, which has five around it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I missed one somewhere. So five, sorry, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to take a look at is find all the circuits in K4. So it doesn't start where it doesn't matter where we start, but what can happen here is I go from A down to B, over to C, up to D, and then diagonal, and then I'd have to kind of go diagonal again to figure out um, a path through this. So there's there's a few different directions that I go. Basically, I can go A. And I can either go from A down to B, or I can go to D, or I can go to C. So th this is a possible circuit to start with. Well, depending on which way I choose, if I go down to B, I could go, I could have went across to D, or I could have went to C from there. So there's, there's options. Well, if I had gone to C, then if I had gone from A to C, well, I could have went from to D, or I could have went to B after that. So there's options there. Same thing if I go over to D, I've got options. So depending on which way you go, it changes the way that you move from there. And then in the end, these would be the final route. So if I went from A to B to C, I'd end up at D there. So it's all about how many ways can this happen. And so if I trace through the six branches of the tree, we see that K4 has six Hamilton circuits. So I go one, two, three, different original ways, and then there, well, I'm sorry, this is the easiest way, down here, one, two, three, four, five, six different total paths, okay? So these are them listed out in order, okay? And here's the thing, there's a rule, and this is what, this is the easiest way you can say it. If you're trying to find the amount of Hamilton circuits of, in KN, so it's gonna give you a K with a little four, that means that there's four vertices, um, then the answer is n minus 1 with an exclamation mark. And again, no, that's not me yelling. This is a factorial. In fact, you should have that button like that on your calculator. It looks like this. So what we're saying is you take 4. 4 is your n. So it's 4 minus 1 factorial. Again, this means factorial, not 4 minus 1 really loudly. So this 4 minus 1 turns into 3. 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1. 
uh, factorial means you take whatever the number is and times it by each successive smaller number than that original number all the way down to one. One's where you stop. So this is three times six, or sorry, three times two, which is six, times one. The answer is six. There are six different ways that you could find yourself mapping through this uh, circuit. So if I had a triangle, which I showed on the previous slide, it would be two minus one factorial. Two minus one is two times one. There are only two ways to go around the triangle or through the triangle. You can either go up and around or down and around. There's only two ways. If you have something at seven sided, this would turn into six minus one factorial. And six minus one factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one. All right, so you got 30 times four times three times two times one and so on. So this is how you find your answer in your homework when it says, what would it be when it was K5 or 10 or whatever it is, okay? So you've got uh, a situation where you've got a person in Lompoc, California and wishes to visit relatives in the following um, California cities. You got these Orcot, don't know where that is, Santa Barbara. Sorry if you're from these places, never heard of them. But anyway, the point is, how many different cities are there? Well, that's exactly it. How many cities are there? So there are eight vertices. That's the amount of cities that you have in their hometown. So to figure out how many different circuits, how many different ways can you visit these uh, cities, you have to do your eight, oops, sorry, eight minus one factorial. So you're just trying to do a circuit, okay, of eight. It's going to be eight minus one factorial. So if you find a calculator, you can do seven and then push the exclamation mark. And um, I have one on my calculator here, and I'll push the button rather than actually doing all the math. But seven um, factorial should be 5,480. Oops, 80. 5,400. 5,040. Goodness sakes, I can speak. So here, it's the same answer as if I said seven times six. You can try this on your calculator. Times five, times four, times three, times two times one will give you 5,040 different ways that she could drive around California to eight different cities, if you really wanted to know. So there you go. That's the end of section 4.2. Let me know if you have any questions through the Ask My Instructor feature of the lab.